Make sure you say that it's a stopover. It's not somewhere that we're planning on like staying for ages. Yeah. It's just making our way down. Making our way downtown, walking fast. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is our, or well, yesterday was our last day here in Hoi An, and today we are making our way down. Uh, eventually going to hit Ho Chi Minh, but we're having a little stop. So today's the transit day for us. Uh, we will be on a bus for three hours and we are going to... How do you say it, Danny? Quang <laughs> Nagai. Quang Nai. So that's where we're going. Right there. We are up here. That's about three hours on a bus, apparently. Or an hour and a half in a car. Oop, come back to focus. So guys, that is today's plan. Um, apparently that place isn't exactly a tourist spot. It's definitely off the tourist track when here in Vietnam. It's just that, you know, from here to Ho Chi Minh is a long way. Instead of doing it all in one massive yeah. trip. Instead of doing it all in one massive trip, we're going to take our time. And we're going to just hop on the way down and see some places that we probably would never have seen if it had just been for the normal route of going to the major attractions here. So that'd be cool. So right now we have a fair bit of packing to do. So we got all of our stuff over there. So we're going to do that now and we'll catch up with you when we're done packing. So guys, that was Bin. He is the, uh, the owner of the Herbal, home, uh, Herbal Tea Homestay here. Guys, that was him just showing us how they make the coffee. Like, we've seen it obviously in cafes and stuff like that and we get it every morning. But the actual process of, you know, pouring it in, how to do it, it's just amazing how they do it. Compared to, you know, when you're used to the things that you have at home. So that was a fun little lesson in coffee making because Bin actually used to own a coffee shop uh, before he started the homestay and it was quite a successful coffee shop. Why and the I, coffee here is so yeah, good. Yeah, that's why the coffee here is really good. So if you're ever traveling along and you're near Hoi An um, or you're in Hoi An, guys, they have a big like restaurant thing out the front where you can just pop in, grab a coffee and then... Uh, keep on your travels. That was a little surprise for us. We didn't organize that or anything. Bin literally just knocked on our door and said, oh, well, let me show you how it's all actually done. So that was cool. So, yep, bags are all done, ready to go. Bus is picking us up at 11. And then we have a lovely three hour ride down to our funky new little town. After Bin just showed us sort of how to make coffee and gave us free coffees, he's just come back and knocked on our door. He just gave us gifts. So he's just given us an entire bag of coffee, uh, the coffee filters and that setup that you saw, and then two cashmere scarves. Yeah, and he gave us the tin of the sweetened condensed milk. And a I tin of sweetened condensed milk. It's just kind of funny how life works out, you know, one minute you're sitting there looking at for accommodation on a on an app and the next minute you just stumble upon a place like this and build the relationships that we now have with these guys but definitely a new appreciation for the Vietnamese people and their culture. They're just the best people on earth and they will do anything for you. I highly recommend staying here. If you can't get here, look for a homestay. Getting to like get to know the family that you're staying with is amazing. And that's the thing, guys. Don't go hotels and don't go hostels, unless they're in your budget and you have to. Guys, homestays are the best. The reason is it's their home. They treat you like family because they see you like family. So guys, I recommend, if you can, get into homestays. See ya, bye. bye. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you so much. See ya. Alrighty, so the bus can't get in here because of all the low hanging wires, so for all my shit, and a dude on a scooter's coming to pick us up. And he's jumping on another one. Oh, that's how we're riding. You from Germany? No, Australia. <laughs> this is another new one for me.
Thanks, Ben. Give you a hug. Thank you for everything. Oh. Yeah, I helped you. That's how. We will be back, don't you worry. Yeah, thank you. I uh, look forward to seeing you. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, see, you. see ya. That was a pretty cool experience. Apparently, when they say, you know, the bus will pick you up from your homestay, it's not the bus, it's someone from the bus. But that was fine, it was good fun. I'll never complain about trying to fit stuff in my car at home again because if they can fit all of this, plus myself and Annie and cameras, they did that in two scooters, which is just hectic. Anyway, I guess we'll now sit here and wait for the bus. So, a uh, little update. We are here. Sorry for the real weird jump in the video. Uh, a few things. Uh, that was by far the worst, absolute worst transfer we have ever experienced. I rarely, rarely, rarely would say stuff like that. That driver was the worst driver um, I have ever seen slash experienced while here in Asia slash all my life. We know what it's like here on the roads. That was just another level of stupidity. How many accidents do you reckon we nearly missed? Oh, it, it was, um, it wasn't just that he was weaving and swerving and stuff. It was, it was genuinely reckless. Like was, we have had trips where they're driving fast and they're dodging cars and you're like, oh, whoa, that was a bit close. No, this guy was, this guy was probably driving 20, 30 kilometers an hour above what he should have been. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he was driving to none of the road conditions in regards to the quality of the roads. I hit my head twice on the roof. That is how hard we were hit bump. I've never felt more uncomfortable in a car in my life. Then we got dropped off in the middle of nowhere. Just two bike taxis that saw us. It so felt bad for us. Felt bad for us. So we ended up having to uh, catch a bike here, which then cost us another hundred thousand dong. So that was a bit of a bummer to have an experience like that and a transfer like that. But we're here in our hotel finally. So our room, guys, it is tiny. It would be no more than. I know it doesn't look too tiny in this video. Our toilet is pretty cool. It's pink. <laughs> uh, it's small, but it's clean. Yeah, and it's clean. Um, the husband and wife here, they don't speak English, but they are so nice. They're so oh, kind. They were yeah. really good reviews on this place and we're happy to have to, you know, to get to stay here as a little stop off on our way south, so. Yeah, but anyway, we're gonna go down and have a little look around this town. Stopping to get a barn me, so if you can't hear me, the traffic's really loud. We found obviously that where we're staying isn't actually in the main city. So normally our rule of thumb is when we come to a place, we walk. We always walk first, get our bearings, get our bearings, and get our bearings, and uh, you know, so we know where we're going. Have a look around, and walking is just the best way to do that. Then if we're a bit more confident, that's when we'll get a scooter or something, and. You know, day two or three, we sort of know our way around and it's not too bad from there. Uh, it's a long walk into the city, but also there's a bridge to cross that doesn't really have any sort of mean way for pedestrians to get across. So, first day we're actually going to have to hire a scooter. So we're going to go hire one and see what we can find, explore a little bit more. And then yeah, we'll see what happens. city for a little bit. I think the reviews are right. There's not a lot that we could see that we could really do nor show. And that's the reality of it too guys. We're gonna get to places and I'm sure a lot of people traveling. You get to places where there is dead set. There's nothing to do. And I'm sure people have traveled here has experienced the same thing. Anyway, we're gonna just keep on peddling and see what we can find. All 
Alrighty guys, we back to the hotel now. We're just gonna chill out here. For the rest of the afternoon, we'll go out and get some dinner, but that's gonna be about it. Uh, apart from that guys, yeah, that was a transit day for us. As we said, you know, you get those days that not everything's gonna be fun and exciting, but that's part of traveling. All right, we'll catch you tomorrow. Alrighty guys, remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys later. Hãy subscribe cho